In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Obsidian Notes. So once you've downloaded Obsidian Notes and opened up the app, as you can see, this is what you're presented with. So it's the default kind of the page inside Obsidian Notes. And then it says no file is open. Now, in order for you to create a new note, you want to click on create new note or press Ctrl plus N. And there we go, it says untitled. And where it says untitled up here, this is the title of your note. And let's say I want to name this YouTube. And then inside the note, you just have to press below this title and type in whatever you'd like. So let's say I want, hey, this is a simple note uh, about YouTube, okay? And you can type, of course, whatever you want to, but this is just a basic use of it. And as you can see, down here on the right, it says exactly how many words there are, how many characters there are, and how many backlinks you've got inside this. Now over here on the right, as you can see, the current view is editing, but you can click and change the view. So if I click on this, as you can see, it's currently in read mode and I can't edit anything. I can only read and copy things. And if I press back here again on this pen, as you can see, things can now be edited yet again. So these are the two things that may come in handy in case you don't wanna mess things up uh, while reading your notes. You simply wanna press this it goes into reading mode right away and you'll know that it's in reading mode because there's this pen over here uh, and yeah you can read through the entire document without uh, messing everything up now these three dots over here as you can see give you multiple different options okay when you hover over it, it says more options and now you can check the backlinks in this document as you can see over here uh, there are no backlinks because i haven't added any in there and you can uncheck that and then you can also check reading view, or of course, as we had before the editing view, uh, you can change that as well. And now you can split the right or split down. So let's see, there we go. You can split the right and you can have a note side by side and you can split it down. So we have a note uh, one above the other over here. And now let's close all, there we go. And then you can also open something in a new window, which will, as you can see, completely open this up. You can move it to your other monitor in case you have one. And this is also very handy. Now, next option is, of course, to rename the note. So to change the note title, as you can see, you can change it to whatever. Let's say I want to uh, name it YouTube. So one, there we go. It's been successfully renamed. And then you can see it's been renamed everywhere. And now if you go back into here, you can also move this file to somewhere else in case you want to type in a folder inside your Obsidian notes. And yeah, you can bookmark it, merge the entire file with something, add file property, find something inside this, inside this, um, this note. So let's say I'm looking for uh, YouTube. And as you can see, it gets highlighted. And if you click next, it's going to place you on the next word. That's the same word you're looking for, okay? Which is very, very handy. Now you can also export this as PDF and you can change whether you want to include the file name as the title and what you, the page, page size you want it to be, if you want it to be landscape or vertical and what the margin you'd like to be and then the downscale percent and then just press export to PDF and it's going to give you a PDF, which is also very handy. And there are some, there are more or different things over here. You can also open linked view and copy Obsidian URL, delete file, and things of that nature. These aren't as frequently used as these above here, okay? Now, over here on the left, as you can see, we've got quite a few things. Now, in case you'd like to make a new note, you have to click on this new note button, and then again, title this and type in something, whatever you like to. Uh, like this, and as you can see, you can now go uh, between one and the other note. It's very handy. Now, you can also move these notes, as you can see. Uh, if you kind of hold it down, okay, you can move it to wherever you'd like. You can put it up here, or then maybe somewhere else. There we go, as you can see. You can also move these, so you can move them to the left or to the right. Let me open up these two. There we go. You can move them to the left or to the right, so however you'd like them to make organized. It basically works just like Google Chrome. You can do pretty much everything you can do in Chrome over here as well. And then this here will give you a new folder, okay? Now, as you can see, the default folder is Obsidian Vault, but you can make a new folder. Now, in case uh, this happens to you where you can't rename it, simply right click on it and press rename. And there we go. You can rename it. And let's say I want this to be folder one. Oh, it doesn't work with characters, folder one. There we go. And then you can put something in this folder. So we simply drag it in there 
and the other one too. And now when you expand it, as you can see, it's quite obvious that um, your notes are inside this folder, okay? Now, that's it when it comes to that. And now you also have the option to change the sort order so you can uh, sort files from Z to A or Z to, uh, from Z to A or A to Z. And you can um, change it, uh, filter this by modified time, old to new, new to old, or created time, new to old, and old to new. And yeah, over here, as you can see, you can kind of expand everything or shrink everything. And that's pretty much the basic use. Now, if you want to see your bookmarks, you can click up here and you'll see your bookmarked notes. I don't have any, so there's none over here right now. And you can also search for notes by clicking on the search icon and then searching something you're looking for. Now, of course, going to files over here will give you the access to all your notes. And now here on the left, you can open up the quick switcher, which allows you to quickly uh, find or create a note, as you can see. And then you have this open graph view where you can kind of see the, the graph of all the notes you've got, which is a kind of neat to see. You can move these around and then kind of uh, swirl them over and things like that. And then you can also see the groups in here and uh, you can make groups if you, groups if you like to and then uh, kind of make filters and filter these by different metrics. And then over here where it says forces, you can uh, link for center, repel or link. And then over here where it says display, you can uh, adjust the node size, as you can see, and yeah, a link thickness and stuff like that. Text, fade, threshold, there we go. Now, you can also put in arrows if you'd like to or not. It's totally, totally up to you, so we can customize pretty much everything. Now, uh, you get this by simply uh, clicking this open graph settings, and if you want this uh, time-lapse animation, you simply want to click on this, and you'll get a time-lapse animation uh, once you have a lot of notes in here, okay? Now, the next thing over here is create a new canvas, okay? You can create this canvas uh, by simply a kind of a drag in. So you can drag from below or, dub or double click. So you can space press, press, plus drag the pen or control press scroll, press scroll to zoom. Now you can simply type something in here. Let's say one type in hey, hey, and that's that's it. And you can, yeah, move this around and then zoom it in, zoom it out. As you can see, it's uh, quite nifty, okay? It works very, very well. And you can also add different cards in here, just like this. You can make in different sizes, delete them, stuff like that. You can drag a note from your vault, let's say I want this note, and just kind of uh, move it around as you'd like. So hold it and then move it around. You can snap them as well. And yeah, it's just overall a great thing to have. Now we can also drag the add media from vault, but I don't have any media in there, so I can't do this right now. And then you also have daily notes, which automatically create, creates a note for the current date. So this is today. Um, and yeah, uh, the last thing is you can insert a template, but as you can see, I don't have any templates right now, and you can download templates if you'd like uh, from different websites but I'm not going to teach this right now in this video since that's not the basic use anymore. And yeah, here's the uh, comment palette where you can execute different commands inside Obsidian Notes. And then down here, we have a chance to open another vault. We can get help or go into settings where you can change the editor, the appearance, hotkeys, and stuff like this. So this is the basic usage of Obsidian Notes, and I hope this video helped you out.